Hello there, the fabled harpooner here, ready for another high rank great jaggy hunt. Weapon class this time is the longsword, and the weapon of choice is a new one that's available for us at the smithy. Kind of going to fall back to the Legiacris armor set. I could have used the Rhinoplos one for the focus skill. That's mostly the main reason I'm using this armor set. Because of the longsword benefits from it. But weakness is weakness. Oh, weakness exploit. So that's a reason why I have it. The weapon in question. Let's see, forge it. Long sword. The hair tails hair blade. So, fish on a fish on a blade. <laughs> okay. It has a really nice amount of uh, green sharpness. Does lose out in a uh, raw damage. I believe this is possibly one of the lowest raws that I have. I'll compare it mm, just in a moment. However, it does come with a lot of water elemental damage. No, not yet. Let's check the ingredients material required. It requires a strange fish. I've not fished it myself. Uh, these four and a few others that I've probably already used. I've managed to acquire via the fish fishery from the port, uh, not the port, from the Morga village. So far four, but as long as you keep sending them out, they seem to get them on their own. There's nothing new, so I'm guessing once you hit, hit higher rank, they will start catching these guys. Also requires Bathyphite or going to use three out of three. And a few low rank materials, wet fish and quality sponges from the Ludroths. Both royal and a uh, purple. So we're going to force this weapon. Whip it. Now I could have been one final piece for sharpening. As you can see here, I'm just one slot away. Or one gem away to acquire it, two points. But considering its long sharpness, green sharpness at the, at the very least, I don't think that's going to be needed. It's not going to be a requirement, particularly with a great jaggy. It won't last too long. So I might. I could just gem it in just in case. But otherwise, I probably should uh, check on a separate skill that I could find. And I don't seem to have any grinder jewels available. At least, not slotted. I would like to see them implementing a way to unslot all equipment so you can easily spot the uh, jewels you were looking for. Because this going one by one can be tedious, especially if you have like all these weapons like myself. So many of them that makes it harder to spot. Because I know I have more than five around. It's just well, not obviously not on the bow guns or the bows. So mostly the armors. But this is a bit of a tedious task to do. So I've added like an external option to remove all gems from all of the equipment items. It would make this um, go much quicker. Nothing. Well, well, no perception. That's the other thing. Since some of them share the same colour, there we go, grinder. But that's mm, the piece of equipment I'm wearing. Protection. Wow, wow. Well, oh, there we go. One here. So again, I think it will go faster if you had that option. It's much easier to gem them in than it is to gem them out. So I do have the sharpener skill. Probably won't need it at all. Speed gather is always handy. Current resistance, no effect here. Probably the most beneficial ones are these two. Fast charge and tenderizer. 
Hits the head will do more damage. And maybe the body as well. Although that might be questionable. What I wanted to do before I depart is compare this weapon with all the others. That's wise. Check the raw value mostly. So you can see here, well, the chase load is actually lower. 460, 462, sorry. Actually, it seems to be within the average range. Not the most powerful, but not the weakest either. So it was a bit wrong there, but you do lose out compared to the, for example, with the Barbarian Blade. But you do make up for it for the 400 water elemental damage. So versus monsters that are particularly weak against walls against water. This longsword could be handy. Food. What kind of fresh ingredients on the first page? What do we have? In the daily skills. What oh, is explorer? It's not fresh, and it's the third option, both here and here. So that's not a no-go. What about these two? Go for the defensive. Not really that interested. Don't really need polish polisher. I'll probably just go for the attack to shorten the quest rather than the fence. But there's no real skill that I'm interested in. Booster. This could be handy if I start once again in the same area as the Great Jaggy. As it has happened mostly. Meaning that the first few hits will do much more damage. And a voucher there. I'm not going to bother to put away right now. There's no need for that. So, field trip once again. Okay, not this time. We're down here. Which way? Seems that either of the northern exits are good enough. The right one will take you to this open space, which is connected to the riverbed. Or the other will take you to the. The other one will take you to the. What's it called? The uh, the waterfall area. Which pretty much has the same effect as it's directly connected to this area. Okay, charged here. Okay, we got a head break there. Although he was doing some other animation, so I didn't really flinch. Try to roll past the hitbox area. Okay, flinched it just before it started the animation to do a body slam. They already queued up a fade slash. But that really mattered much since it flinched, causing its body to jump backwards. Ow! Kayamba! Bad time for that bomb. I was just about to use my finisher, which would have connected since it flinched. He tried to lure it out of there. It seems that the weakness exploit only works the body part that, is the, that will take the most damage of the entire monster. So here I'm not sure if you can notice it just by looking at it, but when you hit the hit, it's like a slight slowdown. I don't know how to explain it. You can tell a slight difference there. Oh, can I reach it? Yep. Yeah. Nice. So you can tell when you are hitting a weak spot, or not. Maybe like the animation is, uh, I don't know, skips a frame or two to indicate, to give that impression. Oh, 
Well, we're doing pretty well in damage. Doing plenty of flinches. There are the splash, and there's the finisher. And my own finisher as well. Which stops right on top of the body so I can carve it. Just a moment, I will carve all three items. I will show you the time right after. 46 minutes remaining, nearly 47. Probably I could have shaved them off if I had either started right in the same area or if I hadn't got knocked out of the area by Kayamba's bombs. I mean, three seconds, that's roughly it. I believe one of the shortest, almost just three minutes. Just over the three minutes. Yeah, long swords can do devastating amount of damage over time as they charge up. Great for solo. Can have a diminishing returns in a team hunt because of the inconvenience of hitting your teammates. Especially against the monster like the Great Jaggy that's so small. Uh, your friends will probably be quite near. Anyway, rewards. Okay, if I did finish, I suppose. As I said, rewards. Great Jaggy hides. Armor spheres of different calibers. Carmelite, that's nice to have. Since some pretty much don't have any. More hides. More Great Jaggy heads. Are there any use after you've made the headpiece? Screamers are always nice. Handy. More hides. And yet another bird woman gem. So this has been the famed Harpuna hunting a high rank Great Jaggy with a long sword weapon class and the Hair Tails Hair Blade as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.